So Tetris 99 just released yesterday and oh boy is it addictive. It's the very definition of a game that nobody asked for, but we got it anyway. It's just fast paced fun based off the same game that we've all known and loved for years. But the problem with it is, you're kinda just thrown into it with no tutorial or any explanation as to what some of the new features do. So with that said, I'm Lebex from Team SSBA and here's a very quick introduction on how to play or how to get used to the new functions of Tetris 99. First, we're going to go over the very very basic controls of the game, so if you've never played Tetris before, this video is for you. So the controls are very simple, as each block falls from the top, you can move it left and right very quickly or very slowly depending on how quick you press the button I suppose. You can press the down button to speed how fast it falls, or once you know you found a perfect spot where you want your block to fall, you can press the up button on the d-pad to make it fall instantaneously. The only button you'll need on the right joycon is the A button, and that's to make your block switch positions. Each block can change on its own axis to make it easier to fit where you need it to be. Another basic function is the store function, so if a block is falling and you don't particularly need it, you can press and hold the L button and it will store the block up in the top left of the screen. Then, if you ever need to switch places with that block, you can just press the L button and it will change with whichever block was falling at that time. Okay, now that we've got the controls out of the way, let's move on to the other functions of the game. The main goal of the game is to line up blocks in a line. Sounds simple, right? The catch is, the higher up the blocks are when you complete the line, the more points you'll get. Although it might seem like a good idea to just line up individual one lines, that's never usually the case. You should always be aiming to complete lines between 2, 3 and 4 blocks high. Completing these blocks brings me on to the next function, which is what's being deemed as so far as trash or garbage. Because this is where you start to interact with the other 98 players who are playing at the same time. When you complete a block, you send your trash or garbage to whoever you're targeting at that time. We will get into targeting a small bit later in the video. So if you complete a line that's only one block high, you won't send anything to them. If you complete a block that's two blocks high, you'll send one bit of garbage. If you complete a line that's three blocks high, you'll send two bits of garbage towards them. And if you complete a line that's four blocks high, otherwise known as a Tetris, you will send four blocks their way. What this does is, the blocks you send to them show up on their screen, and they're given a small amount of time. It is then their job to complete as many lines as they can in that given time. Because if they don't, the amount of garbage you send to them will increase the height of their screen by the respective amount. So if you send them four blocks of garbage and they can't get rid of any of it, their screen will bump up four points. This can be crucial in the late game because it can literally mean the difference between life and death. So going back on what I said a couple minutes earlier, targeting is a big thing in this game. There's two main ways to do it. One is by moving the left joystick on the left joycon so you can pick whoever you want individually. And the other way is to move the right joycon in either the left, up, right or down position. Holding it left will choose the random option. Now this doesn't mean that it cycles through people randomly like I initially thought it does. It means that whenever you press the left position on the right joycon, it will choose one person at random and stay on them until you press that button again. Pressing up on the right joycon will bring the KO mode. And what that does is target the players who are almost or just about to die and it will target all of your attacks towards them in order to secure the death or the victory or whatever you want to call it. Holding right on the joycon will bring you to the badges option and I'll touch on badges in just a second. Because more simply, holding down on the right joycon will bring you to the attack mode and that will target back anybody who's targeting you. The main function of all of these is to build towards a KO because KOs build your badges. Badges are these arrow shaped icons that appear on the bottom right side of your screen. For every KO you get, you get a small bit of a badge. For your first badge, you need two bits to complete it. For the second badge, you need four bits to complete it. For the third badge, you need eight bits to complete it. And for the fourth badge, you need 16 bits to complete it. So you might be asking, what exactly do these badges do and why are they useful? Badges are used to increase the amount of junk or garbage or trash you can send to another player. So respectively, they increase the amount by 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. But what's more, going back to what I skipped on a couple minutes earlier, if you press right on the right joycon and target people with badges, if you knock out any of those people, you will obtain the badges that they currently own. 
So if you target a person who has three badges and you kill them, you will earn their badges. Do keep in mind though that they have those badges for a reason so they might not be easy to kill. All of these new controls and functions you just learned should definitely increase your chances of winning now that you have a little bit of a better understanding of what's happening in the game. Okay, well that's gonna do it for this video guys. This was just a quick one-off because this game is brand new I'm having so much fun playing it and it took me a while to understand all of these new functions and controls so I thought I'd just share on the knowledge with you. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like and check out some of the other videos. We make weekly Super Smash Bros videos including a variety of different series that we have going on at the minute so definitely be sure to check those out. And until the next time, I've been Lepix, this has been SSBA. Thank you for watching.